What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? My name is Dominic. I'm one of the co-founders of Crate Hackers. Joe Aaron will be on here shortly. He's going to be doing our training. We've got special guests coming, including Fat Man Scoop, Ragoza's coming, D DJ Rick Webb. We're talking wedding bangers tonight. So our big goal for you guys tonight is to help you freshen your wedding crates up. Any procrastinators in the crowd, put ones in the chat if you're a procrastinator. I'm a procrastinator. Proud. Proud of it. <laughs> I read this story once that Martin Luther King, he wrote his speech for the I Have a Dream speech like the night before and crushed that speech. So ever since I found that out, like procrastination, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but we want to get you guys ready and slay the 2024 wedding season. Tonight's agenda, Aaron is going to be taking over and showing you guys how to find the bangers and scan and organize your existing music library. We've got the best ways and the best methodologies to do that, the best tools, and we want to show you how to do that. And then we're going to be bringing on Fat Man Scoop, where it goes DJ Rick Webb, and we're going to be just talking music and talking about the tracks that these guys are most excited to, to slave dance for with. Joseph? Yeah, listen, at the end of the day, th this training is not for everybody. I tell people this all the time. If you're not willing to put in the work, you're not willing to hustle, you're not willing to stick through this training, which is maybe 45 minutes, you're never really going to see the, the end results, which are the success. So here is what we're doing tonight. Here's our goal. Here's our promise. Here is our mission. And it's been that way since 2020 when we started this thing. We want to freshen up your stale wedding crates for 2024 and beyond. We want to make your brides, your grooms, your couples, your families, your planners fall in love with you and your sets. We want to help you organize your messy client crates with just a few clicks. We want to ease your stress and your anxiety levels while you're DJing and bring back the fun and get you out of a creative rut. Everybody gets uh, stuck in that one crate sometimes. And basically, we want to help you bring your mixing to like the top 1% of DJs to outbook everybody in your area. And there's no better person, honestly, to guide you through this than really the leader, the brainchild, the seven foot wonder. Elon Musk of DJing, as they like to call him in the chat. <laughs> he is not a robot. This is not AI that you're about to see. He is the great actor's co-founder. It was really his idea that sparked this whole thing. Brought uh, an idea to me in the middle of the pandemic that was not quite fleshed out. And it was delivering PDFs via email. And one thing led to another. And I called Dominic and I said, Dom, this kid's on to something, but... It needs a better name than perfect DJ playlist. And so Dom and I crafted or somebody crafted Crate Hackers. And then we had a lucky enough to have a member that was a, a developer. And he was like, this PDF thing is not it, boys. And next thing you know, it became a software company. So Aaron's been doing this forever. He's been DJing basically his entire adult life and beyond. He's DJed for the Johnny Cash family. He's done Kid Rock's kid's wedding, I think, Timberlake's cousin's wedding. He's done stuff for Cindy Crawford, all kinds of celebrity stuff because he lives in Nashville. He's got incredible opportunities there. He works for a company that does a 1,000 weddings a year, and that's some of the pictures of us. Yes, I am that short, and yes, he is that tall. Glenn is not pictured, but just trust me, he's extremely handsome. Throwback photo, uh, though. Look at that. That's me. I had a little bit of hair, but you could see how bald it was on top. Yeah, you look so like the he... beekeeper now. But <laughs> we had an idea that just took off back then. We really identified an issue with wedding DJs, and we'll come full circle with this story along the way. But Joe, really, yeah. thank you for giving me the platform, honestly, because Absolutely, of the man. DJ's vault. Really, we would not have been able to organize these wedding crates. Dude, I'm going to let you take it from here because I promise you, nobody knows this stuff better than Aaron Trailer. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Before you do the rest of it, what's up? What's up, hackers? There he is. Any, there any he OG is. hackers in the house? Put a one in the chat. This is how we interact in the chat. Let's warm up the grease. Come on. Where are we at? Chris, what? 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 one in the chat. How are you, my friend? It's been a minute. I'm getting some DMs from everybody. I'll answer. What up, Chris? What up, Kevin? What up, Andre? Okay, now instead of ones, Instead of ones, how many weddings do you have this season, give or take? Just a rough estimate. 20, 30? What do you got in the chat? 26, Gina. Come on, look at you. 15. Woo! 45. Ryan, dang, dang. You know, I got this DJ who's here in Nashville. He prides himself on doing 180 events a year. Whoa. That's a lot. That's a lot. I can't do that. No. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. It's a machine. It's like a... 
Terminator. If you wouldn't mind spotlighting me and we'll bring back Joe and we'll bring back Dom and we'll talk a little bit more with the hackers. Thank you all for being here. We're creeping up on five years of hacking together and I could not be more excited to be back in this live setting. We're going to interact big time shortly, but let's get into it. Here's the problem we were, I, I've succeeded a lot, but I've failed miserably in so many categories. We talked before in the past about my big Las Vegas debut fail, and we've been pounding that story for the longest time. Y'all know I really crashed and burned at Aria nightclub in Vegas, which really threw me through a loop. There's another really horrible problem I was dealing with all the while. And this had a lot more to do with the wedding side. See, I was dabbling in clubs and radio, but I did a lot of weddings, but oh boy, the worst wedding disaster is coming up in a minute. The worst. But let me tell you where the disaster stemmed from before we really get into how bad it was. This was the problem. And many DJs might be able to relate to this. You got a treasure trove of music. You pride yourself on having a terabyte of music. And then you brag about how many clients you're dealing with each season. I saw so many that you're dealing with. 25 for Gina, as an example. That's hard to keep up with. 25. And the other DJ here who was doing 180, how can you keep up with that? So what you're seeing is on the left, all this music. In the center, if anybody does DJ Event Planner, this looks really familiar to you. This is client request sheets. The, the survey that goes out here, what, what songs do you want? Uh, and then you got brides' faces and names you got to keep in check all throughout the season. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. So now that we've identified the problem, let me tell you about my story. My big, fat wedding fail. It looks like this photo was taken on the same day. Actually, if you look through my Facebook timeline, I always wear black, so it looks like my photos are always taken on the same day. But this really is a Groundhog Day weekend for me at a uh, local venue. In Franklin, Tennessee, not too far from Nashville, there's a beautiful wedding venue that I had the luxury of walking in with my controller and yeah, plug and play scenario, super easy. I got so spoiled by this venue to where I could even wear the same clothing in the same weekend and get away with it. What you're seeing here is a photo of Cindy and Joe's wedding from 2017. And the very same day after I'm doing Candy and Joseph's wedding, but look at the names, right? We'll come back to that. Cindy and Joe's wedding, Candy and Joe, kind of similar, right? And at that time, I'm halfway through my wedding season. I'm really getting more disorganized because so many requests. Here's a picture of Cindy and Joe. Here's a picture of Candy and Joseph. I usually try to get photos with them before we really start the party. Again, mind you, same weekend. I prep for my weddings on Thursdays. I usually get all my folders together before I hit the ground running on Friday and Saturday. Cindy and Joe were Friday. Candy and Joseph were Saturday. So I had my desktop nice and clean on my MacBook, right? I had Cindy's folder and I had Candy's folder. Wait, or did I? Shoot. Okay, so Friday rolls around and we're coming up on this party and official introduction time. And bride and groom are walking down from the photos and I need to make a big announcement. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Candy and Joseph. Uh, it was Cindy's night, actually. Cindy was the bride. And I blamed it on like kind of a microphone flub. I, I thought, I could, okay, all right, all right. Candy, Cindy, it rhymes. I, I can get away with this. All right, moving on. First dance. I got this. So Cindy and Joe, they wanted at last from Etta James to be their first dance. Candy and Joseph wanted Lone Star Amazed. Got it. There was a problem, though. I played the wrong song on the wrong night. I played Lone Star on Cindy's night. And they were such a nice couple. Oh my gosh. They looked a little confused. And I'm looking at them like, what? Dance to your song. And they're whispering into each other's ear. And the planner's walking up to me with a clipboard. And she's like, that, that, that's, that, 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 that. that's the wrong song. And I'm like, oh, oh no. We get through it, right? I'm like, all right, let's just Carry on, they were really cordial enough to get through a song that they, they were, didn't want to dance to. Father, daughter, right? I'll save this. I'll, I got this from here on out. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and welcome Cindy's father up for the father daughter dance. Get the song queued up. There's no dad. Where, where, where's dad? Dead silence. Literally dead silence. Dad was dead. Dad died the same year. Look at that. It, two folders. Same weekend, similar 
situation, similar venue, Groundhog Day. It felt, I was just in a, a funk. It, it was just so confusing. All of this, Groundhog Day, every day, same thing, blah, blah, blah. And I just kept noticing this pattern I was going through. Thankfully, not a lot of dead dads, <laughs> thankfully. This pattern I'm seeing in front of me, the dance floor is not as energetic as it used to be back when I was in my college years, right? Because in my college years, I was hungry. I, I wanted to get a gig after gig, but then I started getting these gigs and I'm doing too many gigs. And I, another dead dance floor, and then another dead dance floor. This was the problem. Too many songs, too many requests, too many blurry faces, too many candies and Cindy's and Joe's and Joseph's, too many double-decker and triple-decker weddings. One's in the chat if you can feel my pain tonight. <laughs> oh, you've been there. I know you want that gig. You want that money. That money's so damn good. You'll take on three gigs, but you'll forget the names along the way. Something had to change. So the hard way for me was what I've been forced to do for the past 10 years, dealing with too many songs, unreliable charts, incompatible software, and as you can see, too many unhappy brides. I did the math just to be, I'm a nerd like that, $10,000 a year was what I lost, maybe in referrals, maybe in anything, just because of my lack of preparedness. For fun, I figured I'd put a number on it, 10 grand a year. After 10 years, I discovered the hard way, but my friends, my wedding DJs all across the land, I'm giving you the easy way. You're not going to deal with this kind of heartache. You're not going to ruin somebody's night because we have invented the crate hacker way. So we're going to give you three secrets tonight. We're going to give you secret number one, the ethical way to steal over 10K of live event knowledge and build crates that crush any wedding. Secret number two, we're going to clone my proven wedding prep technique and organize your music in less than 10 minutes. What? Used to take hours on that Thursday night. We're so much more efficient in 2024. These crates are ready to mix and rock any reception. Secret number three, we're going to stay on top of all of the new wedding bangers automatically while not sounding like a jukebox. Yes, we know. Whitney, Abba, Justin, we're going to play them all at the weddings, but let's refresh our crates with new wedding bangers and do it automatically. And at the same time, not sound like that other competing DJ down the block who is not a crate hacker yet. Be the first with secret number one. The ethical way to steal over $10,000 worth of live event knowledge and build crates that crush any wedding. It's been proven over the past five years. Over 18,000 DJs have learned from this secret. Any guesses? I want you to put a one in the chat if this next slide means something to you. I want you to put a one in the chat if this means something to you. Hackathons. Right? You feel it, Jerry? Lauren, Nate, I see you, Bert. Every Tuesday night, friends, I have an opportunity to hang out with the dopest DJs in America and sometimes across the world. I'll tell you, there's these London DJs who will check in at 3 a.m. their time just to hear what we're talking about. Hackathons. It may sound like you need to know code or JavaScript or, you know, hackathons are where DJs just come together and we talk about music. See, the secret is we don't talk about music enough. We go off and we assume that first and foremost, it does, yes, you have to play with the brides and the grooms request automatically. That's a given. But given the flexibility, what, what do you have? What do you go off of? Hackathons really help because you get a chance to collaborate, innovate, more importantly, build a crate. Community is so important. All these familiar ones that I saw fly through the chat tonight, thank you because, yeah, sure, it's a little selfish. We all get something really good at the end. We get an awesome crate, but your input puts DJs to work. Hacks, tracks, getting rid of what's whack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making this uh, secret revealed. Get the word out. We invite every DJ to join us every Tuesday night, even if you're not a hacker. But check this out. This goes beyond a communal gathering on a Tuesday night where we're critics of trends and such. Did you know that over 50 people have modified their bodies with tattoos. <laughs> they got tattoos. They, they literally got crates on their arm because they feel the love. They know that we are here to talk about something that's really not that controversial. It's really not that difficult to chat about. Music is so universal and we truly love this, this sense of community. So that's our secret tonight. Secret number one, community. 
So yeah, there's no doubt about it. It works for everything. Wedding DJs, club DJs. One night we'll be talking about electronic dance music. The next we'll be talking about dinner crates. We'll get these virtual DJ snobs. We'll get these Serato hipsters. We'll get the record box festival calculate double BPMs at Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> it works for it. Yeah. Grimes, if you're listening, join us Tuesday nights. Secret number two, how to clone my proven. Oh, by the way, are you good? Are you good? Everyone good? We good? Lamar, Joe? Yeah. One, Thank one, you. one. Keep, keep the going, ones going. Keep going. Love keep it. it going. You're killing it. Killing We're moving it. fast. Secret number two, how to clone my proven wedding prep technique and organize your music in less than 10 minutes. We move fast in this world. Artificial intelligence is keeping up. Listen, we're right there with you. We're going to make it fast. What we used to do, keep track. This is what we are doing today. We compare client lists with your collection. That's so spreadsheet 1980s. Taking a list from somebody and trying to transcribe it to your Serato is really challenging. It's time consuming. Then you manually drag the MP3 to the folders. You migrate to the software. Then you refresh every wedding. Like where I had Cindy and Candy's crates sitting there together. This is what we did every single week, right? What we used to do. Now there's the new way. There is the crate hacker way. You can organize your crates in music for any genre. Is it okay if I show you something? Do I have permission to show you something really cool? Put a one. Lamar, Gina. Okay, permission granted. What if you could scan and organize your music into performance ready crates 50 to 100% faster than manually doing it? Introducing Crate Hackers, the revolutionary crate building software for the professional DJ that makes it easy and fun to find the bangers and save you up to 10 hours a week prepping your crates. This is so much faster and easier than having to drive yourself crazy trying to compile and analyze tons of song charts. Let me show you how this thing works. Step number one, Crate Hackers will scan your entire music library of songs that you currently have. Step number two, you select a crate from thousands of choices and we organize them for you. It's like a set list in order of BPM and key with a dash of artificial intelligence and even recommendations from professional DJs just like you. We help you find the songs from partner record pools to fill in the gaps. No more searching through tons of browser tabs trying to find which pool has that song. We help you locate it all in one place. Step number four, you export your crate to Serato, Virtual DJ, Rekordbox, Tractor, and more. Our advanced algorithm finds the songs that DJs would most likely play. We use data like danceability, energy, and mood to determine if the song is dance floor ready. We also give you powerful tools to supercharge your crates. Spotify to Crate. This is a Crate Hacker's favorite. Simply copy and paste any Spotify playlist, and Crate Hackers will find the songs in your library, recommend the songs you need, and then export it to Serato, Virtual DJ, and other popular software. The best part? No more manually searching client requests. With our charts tool, you're never gonna have to worry if your collection is up to date. We compile every chart you need to stay fresh on what's working right now and is most danceable. You'll find charts for pop, rap, decades, rock, country, R&B, and even full wedding style crates. We even show you what's working on dance floors from TikTok and Instagram. With cloud crates, you don't even need a music library. All of our crates come fully streamable and mixable on services like Tidal, Spotify, Deezer, SoundCloud, and Apple Music. This is the ultimate backup in case your library ever goes down. And once again, if you don't have a song in your collection, you can always dive into our deep record pool integrations. And it's here you can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the edits they carry, along with additional locations and music providers to download, stream, or search song recommendations. We'll even give you a 30-day trial to late night record pool when you become a member. No more stressful searching for the next song. And we're gonna give you access to more tools like Shazam to Crate Tool. This allows you to build crates from all the Shazam songs you've ever snagged. Our text import tool allows you to take any CSV or text document and turn it into a crate. No more having to manually type in your song requests to even find the songs. And now with the Magic Sorter tool, you can take any playlist, not only make it mixable, but dial in the energy, popularity, mood, and danceability to your liking. And this is how we get you prepped 50 to 100% faster than by hand and fully confident to destroy dance floors instead of searching frantically for your next track through messy crates. Now, the great news is that Crate Hackers is less than $30, and that's less than the cost of most DJ subscriptions, and you'll see results in less than 60 seconds. 
grab this now because we've raised this price twice already and we don't know how much longer we're going to keep this price at $30. And by the way, you're fully protected with our 14 day money back guarantee. Even if you don't like our software, we'll give you your money back. We'll even kick in a Starbucks gift card for your trouble if you request it. So act now, go ahead and sign up today. Take a look at this visual. You've got the Spotify, the Shazam. You got that request list that can automatically be transferred into your crates and really kept separate, kept a lot more in tune to what is going on that weekend. If you've got double events, if you've got triple events, this keeps things a lot more seamless and you're just going to feel more confident. That's the end of the story. Text import. You can take any Excel or Google Sheets or those DJ event planner request lists, right? Now, the next thing I wanna show you is their text import feature. Sometimes I'll work with a type A bride that'll add all of their song requests to an Excel spreadsheet. In most cases, this would be a pain in the ass, but again, Create Hackers makes it super easy to add these songs to your software. So right here, I have an Excel spreadsheet with some songs. I can see our songs over here and our artist over here. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight all of these and I'm gonna copy them. We're gonna jump over to Create Hackers and right here on the left, there's a text import feature. So I'm gonna click titled crate. I'm just gonna call it wedding crates and then make sure to hit paste data right here so you can paste the songs right here in this section. We'll hit generate crate. And once it's done loading, you can see we have all of our songs ready to go in Crate Hackers. And again, you just go through the songs, make sure everything's looking good. And that's it. It's that easy to add song lists from an Excel spreadsheet to your DJ software. Now this also works with something like DJ Event Planner, which I know a lot of you DJs use. So let me show you how that works real quick. So we're in a DJ Event Planner right now. This is an event I have coming up. Where they got a bunch of do not plays and must plays. I only really care about the songs that they do want. So I'm just gonna highlight everything that they do want at this wedding. So I'm just gonna highlight all this. I'm gonna hit copy, jump over to an Excel spreadsheet. We're gonna hit paste. And you can see we have a bunch of info that we don't need. The only things that I do want are gonna be the title of the song and the artist. So I'm just gonna copy those two sections right here. And there's a couple blank spaces that I'm highlighting, but that's okay. I'm just gonna hit copy on this. We'll jump over to Crate Hackers. I'm gonna click text import again and title this new crates. We're gonna paste these songs right in and hit generate crate. And then once you're done, you just hit export crate and then add it to your DJ software. By the way, do you recognize that face? Yeah, it's a TikTok sensation, Justin the DJ. We have some of his crates inside the Crate Hacker software. He'll pop in just a little bit later on as well. Spotify playlist to Crate, Crate Hacker's favorite. One of the main reasons why most people love to have this on their Mac and their Windows machine. Here's how I take a Spotify playlist and quickly put it in my DJ software. Sometimes my clients give me a Spotify link with tons of songs in it and manually loading all those tracks into my Serato would take forever. So we're gonna grab the Spotify link and jump over to Crate Hackers. Simply paste the link and let the app work its magic. It scans my music library, identifies the songs I'm missing, and even suggests record pools where I can download them. Once I'm finished, I export the crate and that's it. It's in my Serato and ready to get the party started. Crate Hackers has been a huge time saver when it comes to prepping music. It streamlined my process and I spend less time prepping for my events. If you wanna try the app for yourself, go to the link in my profile to check it out. Definitely check out Justin the DJ on IG and TikTok. Also new in 2024, Crate Hackers, uh, make sure to update your latest version of the software because we've now integrated the Magic Sorter. You can take any Spotify playlist and quite literally dial in the mood and the tempo. This is something no other software offers. We're the first to bring it to market. You can take any Spotify playlist. I repeat, any Spotify playlist. Let's say like one of those jumbled dinner playlists that has like a varying tempo. If you put this in, it will take out the duds. It will put things into mixable order and make it sound like it's actually mixed. It's magic. It's a sorter. It's new in 2024 and available right now in Crate Hackers 3.5. Wedding charts. We keep you topped off with the latest, not just in wedding reception. That's one thing. The reception is the celebration time. Everything else matters as well from the dinner, the grand introduction, the cocktail hour, the bride entrance. We have charts made specifically for weddings. You won't find that on Billboard. You won't find that on TikTok. You will find it only in the Create Hacker software. Speaking of TikTok, yeah, we got that covered too. It's hard to keep up on the trends but we have a staff that does it for you. We 
outsource. <laughs> kidding. No, we don't. No, I'm kidding. No, that's such a triggering word, isn't it? Nowadays, you can't else. No, TikTok really is just a hard thing to keep up on. We actually have a staff that keeps the charts in line for you. So we do this thing called the 60 40 approach where we're going to help you find the 60% most popular songs. And then that just tops off your crates so you can be really flexible with your 40% of creativity. The fact is, many weddings need the hits. We're just going to supercharge it and make it so much faster with all the viral trends today. Very cool. Secret number three. Woo, that was a big one. Secret number two was a whopper, right? Let's just breeze really quick through number three. And then we got some very special guests to top off your crates tonight. I'm really excited to see. We got Rick Webb, I believe, backstage. Special guests that you need to stick around for after secret number three. How to stay on top of all the new wedding bangers automatically while not sounding like a jukebox. That's another triggering word. Oh, the DJ is a jukebox nowadays. Let's try to buck that trend in 2024. Here's how. Remember this? Empty dance floor. Boy, that, that, that hit me. I had to go to the source and find out what I did wrong. Clearly, get the names right of the bride and groom that you're entertaining, first and foremost. But I, I went, remember this photo from earlier when Joe had hair? We had a problem we needed to fix. And we figured if we can do this with some of the brightest minds, aka hackers, we could innovate, collaborate, and build a crate. We, we, we really feel that we can solve a lot of problems by putting our heads together. And that's exactly what we did for the past five years. And just by doing the research, just by getting your feedback, just by hosting these hackathons and building this software, you know what you, I want to say thank you. I, I didn't really do this. Maybe a portion of me did, but really my devotion to being a servant for the Crate Hackers has led me to become the premier celebrity DJ in Nashville, Tennessee. I've had, the, I still get flutters because I think to myself, holy crap, is that Justin Timberlake on the dance floor at my wedding? Is that Bobby Bones, man? Bobby Bones, I grew up with him as a radio DJ back in the day. Kid Rock? Yo, Kid Rock fist bumped me. Cindy Crawford, I had a poster of her on my wall. Thank you. Thank you because you gave me the information. You, the, the artists, the Joes, the Justins, the Jason Janis, all these amazing wedding DJs taught me so much to where I can charge top dollar. I can justify doing one wedding a weekend now rather than five. I've upped my price now because I'm rock solid now. I'm, I'm, I'm organized. I'm confident. And it got me on the main stage and it filled my floor. Thank you. You helped me get here. Thank you, Jason Janai from the SCE event group out in New Jersey. He's up there with me on uh, Nashville doing thousands of weddings uh, each and every year. He has graciously given us all of his crates and put it into the uh, Crate Hackers desktop software. Joe Bunn, you know he's got his crates already superfused into these crates. You got Justin the DJ, who has some of the most unique wedding reception crates you've ever heard, all baked into the Crate Hacker software. New wedding crates every season. Let me repeat that. New wedding crates every season. Look at that. So to recap, we had the secrets laid out for you. Number one, number two, and number three, we've saved you time, we've innovated, we've collaborated, we've built a crate. Thank you. All my tracks are trying to fast, so I'm not listening very well, but I'm gonna keep trying, and I should have fun. Feeling like this? Is it cool if I show you something else? I'm sorry, Grimes, I love you, girl. But at least bring a calculator. If you're feeling like this, I want to give you a few more alternatives here and pass it over to my friend, Joe Bunn. Once again, more importantly, thank you to Joe for giving me the platform to talk to the DJ's vault. Joe, if you're with us, yeah. get some other special treats for us tonight. Is that correct? Yeah, man. Me and Dom are going to run through some things with you guys. But Aaron, thank you for giving us a, a little insight into your method to your madness. My pleasure. Uh, it's very much the same thing that I do when I am uh, prepping for a wedding. I, I obviously I endorse the product. I'm one of the guys that started the product, but I promise you every single weekend I'm out there still doing weddings. If you follow me on social, you'll see that. And I use these tools relentlessly to get the job done faster. I appreciate you. I appreciate Glenn. Appreciate Dom for how far we've come since the PDF days. <laughs> Let's show them. Dom, you want to share your screen? Yes, sir. Hang on one second. Sorry. Yes, sir. No problem. By the way, 
Thank you, Aaron, for sharing that horrible story. <laughs> I was under the table. We all have I our stories. Under the table. <laughs> I literally was feeling pains in my body. <laughs> Cindy, Candy, Cindy, who is it? I, I, I don't. The cringe factor is one thousand. I hate you, Dory. <laughs> horrible. Okay, here we go. Yeah, listen, we got, what are we on, 3.5 now or something like that? But 4.0 is coming soon. Prey Hackers is here, man. You guys have heard about it. You've seen the videos. Let me just run you through what you get. I see a lot of questions in the chat. Radio can't possibly get to them all. I can't get to them all, but I think this is going to answer a lot of your questions right here. So every month you're going to get our curated crates and the value on that is $199. We've got hip-hop charts, EDM charts, top 40 charts. Don't worry, we're going to talk about other music. That right there alone is worth $597. Plus, we've got all of our top 100 lists, rap, pop, the DJ event planner that we were talking about earlier, the EDM, the other DJ event planner, second half of the top 200 lists of songs that you need, tons of other categories from pop to rap to R&B, We've even got it broken down into decades, holidays, international music. Keep going, Dom. Here's the cool thing about the crates, right? And and again, I, I know there's going to be, you're ruining the culture. Like, I get that stuff all the time thrown at me. Look, we're giving you stuff that is a foundation, right? The crates are in order if you wanted to mix like that. There's some people on here that I can tell the fact that you have no hair, that you've been doing this probably for 20, 30, 40 years, like me. And then I can see some people on here that look like they're newbies. So we're just giving you the foundation. If you want to use the crates as they are in BPM, key, energy, danceability, and mood, boom, boom, you could play them like that. I just pick and choose from them. I rarely use the crates function as much as I use the other tools we talked about earlier. Keep it going, Dom. Again, as you saw, the crates are importable to Serato, Virtual DJ, Record Box, Engine Prime, Tractor, PC DJ, and even DJ Row. So again, you're going to get the software. It's priceless. You're going to get the monthly crates at $597 value. You're going to get these music tutorials at $297 value. We're already at $890. These videos are going to show you how to do what Aaron just showed you in a, sh a little bit more detailed version. So how do we get the songs into Serato, Virtual DJ, Record Box? All right, keep going, Dom. So you're getting the software. You get the monthly crates, you get the tutorials, and then you also get the cloud crates, which we talked about earlier. So backups of all these crates at $297, we're already at $1,100 value. And these cloud crates are the ultimate backup resource. As you can probably imagine, if you don't already know, streaming DJing is here, number one. And I genuinely believe that the death of the MP3 is right on the horizon. And that's the beauty of these cloud crates. You're going to be able to stream right out of the cloud. Keep going, sir. Yeah, and then we've got specialty crates at 900. We're already at 2188. Let me tell you about the specialty crates. It is very few things that we haven't covered over the last four and a half years. Kids music, country, pop, EDM, reggaeton, cumbia, enge, bachata. It's a thing. We've covered it. Afrobeats, Bollywood, Christian music, indie we have gone deep, and if we don't know it, we, we, then we bring in people that do know it. Soka, like, it's crazy how deep we've gone into this. So we got the software, it's priceless. The monthly crates, $597. The tutorials, $297. Our cloud crate backups, $297. The specialty crates, at least $997. And we are already at $3185 with the record pool integrations. Now, check this out. Go to the next slide. So I think we have... I don't know, what is it, Aaron? 15, 16 record pool integrations. So again, you scan your library, you see what songs you're missing, and then you go to one of these pools. And again, I would recommend that any DJ, any working professional DJ that is making money be a member of at minimum two record pools. Again, I want to stress this. We are not a record pool. We are not a record pool. So you do need to have a couple of record pool integrations or subscriptions to make this really work the right way. Stick around because I got a deal for you coming up and it might just be free. So you could see you hit the drop down. You're able to pick which record pool you're a member of and download the song right there as long as they have it. Right. Keep going, sir. Yes, you do. You have to pay for crate hackers and a record pool. 
Let me say that again. You do have to pay for crate hackers and a record pool. We've got a bunch of deals. We're going to talk a little bit about those in just a minute. We might even have a freebie for you. So just everybody hang with us. Calm down. Keep going, Dom. So Zip DJ is giving $30 off the first three months. Heavy Hits, first month, $5. Heavy Hits is killer. DMS, direct music service, one of my favorites, $50 a month unlimited. DMS, three months free for annual. Wow, okay. So we'll talk about the annual membership in a little bit. Crate Gang is another good one, $5 off a month. So all these are going to be in uh, Crate Hackers. So again, software, crates, tutorials, cloud crates, specialty crates, record pool integrations. Then our favorite troll-free Facebook group, one of the best on the internet. No egos allowed in here. The best DJs in their space, in their communities, in their where in their world are all here. We've we've never we hadn't had to punt anybody in a long time. Put it that way. If somebody asks a question, they get a genuine answer. So again, the software, the crates, the tutorials, the cloud crates, the specialty crates, the record pool integrations, and our members only Facebook group. What does that come out to be? Oh, and the weekly crate hackathons. We're already at three thousand seven hundred and seventy nine dollars. I'll be glad to take that right now. But look, like I was saying earlier, what if you want to make your own crates? That's exactly what I do. Like I said, I, I you pick and choose in crate hackers what you want to use, right? If you only want to use a few songs, or if you are booked on a party, let's say you were born in the '90s and you were booked on an '80s party. We have 50 probably 80s crates in there, right? That you could literally download the entire crate. You weren't even born in the 80s. You don't know that music like I do. Say you're booked on a 90s hip-hop party and you're not very good at 90s hip-hop. You're more of an EDM DJ. Boom, we've got you covered. So, again, the crate hacking, the crate hackathons that Aaron does, I think, every other week. Maybe it's weekly. Uh, every lately. Tuesday. Every Tuesday. I was about to say, every Tuesday lately. Aaron is live with his team. He brings on special guests. He polls the members, basically, and they're creating a crate together. So whatever the theme is that night, boom, they're creating it right there live with you. It's a fun thing to do. Sip on a beer, watch the hackathon, chip in the chat. A lot of fun. We do that every week. Software, crates, $5.97. Tutorials, $2.97. Cloud crates, $2.97. Specialty crates, $9.97. Record pool integrations, 997. Crate hackers, members only Facebook group, 297. And the hackathons at 297. We're valued at 37.79. You're not going to pay that. Slash it. Slash it again. Slash it again. <laughs> not even 997. I, I would have liked to got 497. They said no. Where, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Dude. <laughs> 297 for the whole year or $30 a month. Now, obviously, do the math. 30 times 12 is 360. You're already saving $63 by doing the annual. Again, the link is actually CrateHackers.com slash checkout. I don't think it's Purge, is it, Dom? I, I believe it's, that. yep, it's CrateHackers.com. This, this old presentation's haunting me. <laughs> it is. It is. It's CrateHackers.com slash checkout. Radio, if you'll put that in the chat, spam the chat with that. But hold on, before you buy this, I'm going to go back to this slideshow when Dom fixes that. Crate.com slash checkout. I don't want you to buy that yet because I want to show you the other things you're going to get if you go ahead and pay for the year for $297. Again, it just simple math, you save $63, but you're going to get a lot of bonus stuff, fast, fast action bonus stuff if you act on it. Keep going, Dom. All right. Again, I've been doing this forever since I was a little kid. I think some of, the, some of us I would consider OGs or veterans. We've got a couple of just quick clips here from some people that have been doing this for a while, and let's hear what they have to say. Before I started using Crate Hackers, I've always been really hands-on with my music organization, but it was a lot of work. And honestly, the tools in Crate Hackers that helped to set me up to make those transitions from the music that I want to play to the music that's in my library happen quickly. So I think the biggest change in my workflow since I started using Crate Hackers, honestly to me, the feature that I use just about every week is the Spotify import. Having that ability to start in Spotify and use their algorithm with the recommendations to flesh out a, uh, a musical concept, starting out with a genre or even six or eight songs from a couple that then can become a hundred song list that I can then take and immediately 
funnel into Create Hackers from Spotify, and it just spits it out with the music on my hard drive. The versions I want to play, it's massive. It's clutch. It's a game changer for me. So a great thing about Create Hackers, honestly, is it just made my music more manageable to me in the Serato crates that I use. Where before I might have a Serato crate, the wedding crate with 800 songs that was just too many to be able to look through. With Crate Hackers, I can make more targeted crates. More crates, but targeted crates. So when I'm looking for something specific, I can go and find the crate that I know will fit the room in front of me. And it just sets me up to move much more quickly. If you are still on the fence about joining Crate Hackers... If you think that you've already got your system in place, like I was in that spot when I started getting an idea that maybe there was something more to it. And honestly, the tools that they have, just getting hands on with that, getting a taste of it, like FOMO is a thing, like I'm not going to use it to make you get it. But there, there really is a lot of value in Crate Hackers and what it can do for you and what it can set you up to do for yourself. It doesn't do the work for you, but it makes the work a lot easier. Nice. We'll come back to that one, Joe. Yeah. Again, you've seen the ads where we've thrown rocks at the old Serato face where I've got plenty of pictures of me doing it too, where I'm staring at the computers. And ever since I've gotten better about mixing and plus I moved my laptop from directly in front of me over to the right. So basically imagine what it would be like to be smiling and happy and looking out at the crowd instead of staring at your computer, doing doom scrolling, panic scrolling, trying to find the next song. Imagine what it would be like from playing the same thing over and getting burnt out. Imagine what it would be like to have confidence really going into any gig, like I was talking about earlier, even if it's not your forte, what would it be like to be the area's top DJ? the music expert, the go-to person that the wedding planners call to have these ultra-organized crates that kill every time, no matter what, to kill every dance floor, every time, to save hours. Honestly, I save hours now prepping for my next gig just off the Spotify importer and the text importer alone. And imagine what it would be like, again, to just boom, move one track to the next, quick mix and bang. Like, this is a game changer, man. This makes... It makes DJing fun again. So if all it did was improved your performance, you got, you got crazy with it. Sorry. <laughs> and helped you perform, would it be worth it? What if it helped you spend more time being present with the audience? Like I said, would it be worth it? What else, Don? Keep going. Helped you get organized? Hell yes. It gave you peace of mind that you were on top of the new music. You weren't floundering around up there. What if it helped you be more creative? Again, would it be worth $30 a month to me? Absolutely. What if it got you one extra referral? And I know y'all are probably getting two, three, four, five thousand dollars for a wedding. Just think about that. So again, it totals up to thirty-seven seventy-nine. We're not asking that or anywhere even close to it. It's two ninety-seven for the year. Sign up now at greathackers.com slash checkout. Nice. Good um, save. Again, greathackers.com slash checkout. But in this annual part, oh yeah. So here are a couple things you get. Fast action bonus. Sign up tonight. You're going to get crates from ADMC. Again, if you don't know these two DJs, please, whatever you're doing, when we get off these calls, go find stuff, mixes from these guys, either one of them, insane, and big supporters of what we do. DJ ADMC, and that's Dynamics on the right. I was at the gym Dynamics. today, actually, in F45, and the mix that was on was Dynamics on Fit Radio. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, dude's a five-time U- finalist of the uh, Red Bull three style. Insane. Absolutely M- maniac. Both of those guys. And Aaron's going to be hosting a boot camp himself. That's right outside your uh, house, isn't it? We put the uh-huh. $997 value on that. He's going to show you how to freshen up your crates. I told you there was a free record pool coming up. So fast action bonus. Again, people that sign up tonight, 30, I repeat, 30 free days of late night record pool. And I want to say this about Late Night Record Pool above all the other pools. I think it's the only one, if not one of the only ones, that what we have called one-click download. So you remember when you don't have the song and I showed you how to do the drop-down and you see all the record pools? The beauty of it is if you look beside the Late Night Record Pool one, there's a little button that says Sign In. Once you're signed in and you hit that button, boom, that song automatically downloads and goes into the crate. We're giving you 30 free days of their pool 
which is $60 value for new members, for those people that sign up. To yeah, now. let me just clarify this. So this sure. is for ahead, any sir. anybody that's new to Late Night Record Pool. If you're a current Crate Hackers member, whether you're monthly or annual, and you haven't tried Late Night Record Pool, reach out to me at dom at cratehackers.com and I'll hook you up. A any of the bonuses that you guys are seeing for any current Crate Hackers member, we can hook you up with. So just oh, okay. email me. I just want to I clarify you. that. This so is for, for new for members of late night record pool. New, this, right? new brand. You got to be brand new to late night. Yes, correct. Sexy. Okay, sexy. You want the annual? I was saying that earlier. Pause for a second. Let me tell you why. Go. Boom. Brand new Aaron Trailer special stack hat. You know me. I'm a hat a snob. He's too. A it's got to be. Bro, he, not, not he that got hat this hat. This is the legit yeah. one. No, he got this hat and he was like, oh, this is the actual brand that I like. This is an Aaron Trailer special. Yeah. With the flaming crate logo on the front. Again, for those who buy the annual tonight, free hat, fifty no, thirty-five dollar value at least. You're gonna get the archives of all the interviews with these badasses: Fat Man Scoop, ADMC, Vice, Scratch Bastard, Jason Janai, and DJ Ragoza. This is worth at least nine hundred and ninety-seven dollars. These interviews were crazy good. Keep going, Tom. Yep. If if you started over. How would you organize your music? You're about to DJ the Super Bowl. Top five songs that you open with. How do you creatively prep for an event? What system of tagging do you use? Like we've asked these people who are basically legends in the game. And we've got all these interviews that you're going to get if you get the annual. But yep. Another, another bonus. I love this video. This is how I actually store all my music is in Dropbox. So that I basically have this laptop and another laptop. And the music library are always replicated because they stay in the cloud. Drew Pierce is one of DMS editors. You probably got some of his edits in your library, but he walks through Serato and Dropbox syncing, basically. Another annual bonus number four, advanced crate hacking tutorials. We've got making your own edits with Ableton by Ragoza, beat mixing tips, another video. We got another DJ event planner walkthrough. There's another video about DJing fitness events. We've got so many bonuses. So again, you're going to get all the stuff we talked about earlier. The bonuses are you've got the crates from ADMC and Dynamics. you got the boot camp with Aaron. you got that limited edition hat that just came out. You've got the Pimp My Crates archives. Then you've got more videos on Serato and Dropbox back. Excuse me, Serato and Dropbox backing up. And then crate hacking tutorials just videos for days like you'll be stocked up with bonuses so again i think we could probably charge sixty seven hundred dollars for this i don't know that people would pay that i might pay it because i know the value but listen we're all out there hustling 297 per year is more than fair you save 63 dollars, you get all the bonuses but if you just want to do 30 dollars for the month do 30 dollars for the month check it out it's cratehackers.com slash check out again cratehackers.com slash check out get inside tonight get all these fast action bonuses i'm gonna take over this one okay so go ahead that doesn't know me i do all the dominic here i do all the the crate i run all the ads aggressively i send the emails i don't know why my video looks like this it who the hell crazy. knows i'm not a pro i'm not in production okay <laughs> shoot me so I, I send all the emails the text blast the all the things and uh, i don't market anything that i don't truly believe in so if you hate hate crate hackers for any reason we're going to give you all your money back within 30 days and wow. i'm also going to buy you with my own personal money this is not coming out of crate hackers i'm going to personally buy you a dj software up to a hundred dollars if you request mm -hmm. it okay so we're going to give you a full money back right. refund in 30 days and i'll buy you something else okay wow Just wasting your time so <laughs> you're going to get all of that let's freaking go can we talk about music now you guys yeah. get the point just freaking get in there there's no risk at all bonuses expire at midnight you gotta sign up otherwise you do not get the freaking hat you don't get the freaking things we just showed you okay it's nine o'clock i told you we gotta be no, done you at did nine. it you did it bro <laughs> I, he went crazy at the end right there let's go i hate that money back guarantee but you know what this is the actual truth oh, guys. you know how many We've people have taken us up on that exactly zero, zero so point but hey I, I will do it if you ask for it maybe one person a long time ago anyway <laughs> george in the <laughs> chat just said did i read that we get your dropbacks folder that is not true <laughs> there's no <laughs> sharing of music here that is not true 
So we're going to transition over into a the Pimp My Crates version part section of this presentation. What we're going to be pimping crates and okay. we're going to actually be bringing on some awesome people. So let me get Aaron back in here. He's chilling now. He's oh, relaxing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to talk music now. Okay. <laughs> we got the pitch out of the way. All right. We're going to bring on my man. Look at this handsome devil. <gasps> Look at this Ooh, other handsome devil. He better DJ be on Ragoza. here. On, guys. Let's Hold see. It. I'm going to ask Rick Webb to start his video. Rick Webb. Fat Man Scoop is calling me. Joe, I'm going to hang on. <laughs> take it over. Take it over. <laughs> okay. What's up, Rigo? What's up? It's been a minute, dude. Yeah, man. How you been? It's been good. It's been good. There we go. Rick Webb's here as well. Actually, Rick and I, if you don't know, live in the same state. And so I actually went to see Rick at his warehouse yesterday. Goza is has moved closer to here. Eventually, yeah. maybe I can get him all the way to North Carolina, but he was a Boston guy. He's now in Virginia Beach. And then, of course, Aaron is in Nashville, and I'm in Raleigh. But, right. man, what's we're up, just... Rick? Joseph, we're, we're, Joseph, up, Rick? Joseph, yes, the yes. man, the myth, the legend is on. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> we got to bring him on right now. <laughs> all right. All right, we're going to, and Rick, we're going to come back to you. Ladies not, and not, gentlemen, my brother. No way! Give it, Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Scoop, Scoop, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Hold on. Unmute yourself. It says unmute. There we go. I'm unmuted now. I'm unmuted. Right. You can't hear You're me. You're good. Yes, sir. We, we can you. hear we you. We you. can hear you. How, how y'all feeling? I'm getting ready to get it. I'm getting ready. I literally pulled up to the club. I'm getting ready to go in right now. I just want to speak for a second to everybody who's watching. How y'all feeling? What's going on? Of course, if you're on here watching, you're trying to step your game up. You gotta look at you gotta look at all the tools that you can employ to be a better DJ. If you're out here and you're working. And you do listen. If you're a DJ that works once a month, I understand you don't have time. You can sit all day and put your crates together, do whatever you got to do. But if you're a working DJ or you're doing stuff for social media and you and you got to come up with stuff quickly, then this is the thing for you. Everybody utilizes it in a different way. My way is I look at the crate, I will pick ideas. Some of it I, I, I might use half of it, and then I'll switch it up and be like, yo, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Or you can play it. You can do it straight. What, what you have to understand, people, is this. People talk a bunch of nonsense, but no one talks about working smarter and not hard. If you want to work harder, then work harder. Do it. If that's what you choose to do, what you do. But if you want to work smarter, you always, imply, you always apply things and get things that uh, allow you to work smarter. That's great time management and great resource management. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We got that. That was awesome. So it's just it's just understanding how to use what you have to get the biggest to get the biggest bang for the buck. Me personally, I'm in a place where I'm trying to be. I'm trying to get more done in less time. And me and some of these hacks and ways that I do things, of course, using crate hackers is something that works for me. My thing is this, and I'm going to tell you for anybody that reads comments and all of that kind of stuff, I'm going to tell you like this. Don't let yourself be influenced by somebody else talking. As who you are as a person, follow what you believe as your own man or your own woman. Don't look on there and look at something that people are putting up that they angry or they have their own bias. Do what works for you. That's it. That's the part of being your own man and being your own leader and making your own decisions. It's good to look at stuff and be like, okay, what's the overall? But at the end of the day, man, use your own best judgment. Wow. Wow. Fat Preach. man scoop, everyone. Preach. This is not real life. This is not we real life. We love it, dude. We love Listen, it. I'm, it's nothing else for me to say. You guys know what to do. You take it away. I'm actually, but I'll talk about that in another time because I'm looking for a bunch of DJs to help me with a bunch yeah, of stuff. Talk, keep talking, it, keep talking. No, whatever you. I'm looking for people Scoop, that me... can help me make it easier for me. But that's another story. That's DJs that know how to mix and blend and make mixes and stuff like that. I'll get to y'all about that at another time. All but right, again, all right, we'll do that again. again Rigo's is going to help you with that. He's interested. Let me, <laughs> let, let me tell you something. Best people, the best people employ people because the one thing you can't do is you can't get back the time. So if you can use force multipliers 
to do things quicker in a shorter amount of time, you do it. Use every hack you can, especially if you're working. If you're not working and you're doing this and you do one club a month, then God bless you. Go do what you got to do. But we're talking about working DJs and DJs who's trying to get better, be more creative, and use resources. On that note, I'm going in the club. Get it. Right. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. All right. All right, I'll see y'all later. Hold on, let me... Grammy Award winning. We love you, Scoop. Let's go. Most Dude, simple one of the... voice in the history of music, y'all. I love that guy. <laughs> one, one of the best humans you'll ever meet in your life, by the Genuinely. way. Right there. So good. Okay. Genuinely. I'm sorry. Sorry, Ragoza. We punted Ragoza. I know. <laughs> Rick we, knew, we punted those guys really quick. That was our bad. We knew he had like a limited window. So apologies to you two guys. We love He's literally you. going to perform right now. And he was <laughs> right. like, yeah, I'll fit you in. I'll fit you in. Yeah, give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> Talk to these boys, Dom. Talk to these gentlemen. It was uh, Rick Webb, my friends. Thank you for jumping on here. This is the pimp my wedding crates section of the night. And we're just going to talk music, guys. This is the fun part. If you guys have questions for these guys in the chat, let us know. But what I want to start with, start out with is what are some songs that you guys are not playing in 2024? Let's get spicy. Let's get spicy. And I want to hear, you ain't going to touch it. What is it? Rick, let me ask you to unmute yourself. Yes, please ask me to unmute myself. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love how that works. <laughs> Even though I can't unmute myself until you ask me to do it. Right. <laughs> Let's see. Songs I ain't gonna touch. Shut up and dance. Fuck that song. Oh. I ain't I ain't touching that one. <laughs> wow. Timber. Why are you not? Overplayed? Overplayed and just too cheesy at this point. I think I feel a cheesy vibe when I'm playing it. Okay. So respect, respect. Shut Up and Dance is out. Uptown Funk has already been out. Let's see. What else? Of course, every line dance known to man is already gone, unless it's requested. No um, hard no on line dances, huh? A lot of draft, a lot of Daft Punk. I'm done with. Oh, Ooh, I just got offended. I just got offended. <laughs> this Those is what I wanted, though. This, is, this makes for good television. This is good. I'm gonna actually start crying on television. <laughs> uh, Ragoza, what are That's you not playing? It. What are you not playing? Sorry, he's muted, dog. Good lord. Yeah, I don't have the ability to unmute. <laughs> you guys can hear me now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yeah. got you. So, man, it's hard to say because honestly, the weddings I have this year are like, there's so many different types of, of couples that I'm DJing for. Like, for example, this weekend is the first wedding of the year that I'm doing. And they're going to want a lot of old school urban stuff from like the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. But then I have a lot of other people who are going to want like the basic, a lot of the 2010s dance pop stuff. So it's really hard to say what I won't be playing. Like, obviously, I would love to not play Shut Up and Dance. I think that's a great choice. If I could avoid that one, I will. Uptown Funk for sure. And maybe I'll try to stay away from some of the uh, Want You Back, Oh, What a Night, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Or at that. least find like a, a more current like remix or up-tempo way to play it that is, even though it might be like a played out song, it's refreshed in a way. And, you sure. know, it still has that familiarity, but not doesn't have that kind of same sound that they're used to. Okay, let's yes. talk actual music. What are you going to play? Who wants to go first? Who's, are you guys, I know Rick can share his audio and stuff, or goes, are you set up for that too? Yeah, Actually. no, I got audio. Okay. Awesome. All right, welcome to my oh, iTunes. Cool. Bangers. Ooh. Awesome. So I, I just formulated this out of my other bangers, but a lot of my friend Ragoza's edits are in here too. So. Hey, mm -hmm. let's go. By the way, you guys can get I, access to Ragoza's edits on D direct music service. If you are not on direct music service, one of the best pools out there. Because a lot of these you'll see will be tagged as DMS edits as well. So awesome. I'm a big DMS person myself. Um, okay. Do you want me to actually play these? Let's I mean, go. Let's play a little snippet. Play it? It. Yeah, let's. Is there any way to right zoom now? in on that? You might Dom? be able to enlarge the font for us too. That'd be better. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, Let me have you share your screen. Let's try that. <laughs> So here's my Ooh, oh there it is oh yeah <laughs> okay he's in serato so to be honest i feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of like new songs that are going to work at weddings this year because there's really not a lot of new songs that came Agreed. out like, envision playing at weddings so what i'm more focused on is taking songs that i could definitely use a new version of so at, at, for example as you can see in here we have don't stop believing beauty and the beat starships but these are all songs that are these are all remixes that have come out since last wedding season. You know what I mean? So these are remixes and mashups that I have not had the chance to play at weddings yet. So 
these are the ones that I'm looking forward to switching out some yeah, of the original it. versions or maybe some of the older remixes I was playing. Yeah, do you want me to play some of them? Okay, okay. So let's see what this sounds like now. There we go. Nice. Okay, so here's a mashup I made of Sunglasses at Night. Once again, this is a, a classic song that everybody knows, but here's like a fresh new way to play it. Check out the chorus, right? It's got that modern sound to it. Wow. That's a fun one right there. Let's see, I brought back this older Nicki Minaj song, Night is Still Young. This is a catchy one right here. You know what I mean? Bringing some fresh drops to the dance yes, floor sir. this year. L Levels obviously is a staple. You might be sick of it, but people still react to it, and that's the fact. So this Fuse Mania edit of the Maeve remix is has been killing it for me lately at the at like the bars and stuff that I've been doing since last wedding season. So I can't wait to drop this. Listen how much more modern this drop sounds compared to the original. At the same melody that everybody's used to, but yeah, it's got yeah. the, that, that a much more modern sound to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can we can we hear that Murder on the Dance Floor remix? That's, oh, that's, yeah, a new, yeah. that's a new song I'm, I'm excited to drop, but I'm curious to hear this. So I guess it, well, it's not a new song. It's one of those songs that TikTok brought back. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, check this one out. This, there's a lot of remixes of it, but this one is my personal favorite. So that's just fun, like good feeling, upbeat energy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you another one. This is another uh, mashup that I made recently. You can find oh, this Lord. on the direct music service. So this is uh, this might not work for every crowd, but if you've got a crowd that likes a little bit of 80s hair metal, but you also want to keep that energy, check this one out. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. air. Everybody get your hands up. Come on, y'all get your hands up. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. air. Everybody... Wait for the drop, though. Hey. We're doing this in the Team Ragoza set too this year. So I'm definitely excited to do that one. I Honestly, anything from Diero is always super dope. He's always got really hype songs. So when I heard that one and I heard the key it was in, I was like, oh man, like Hurricane is one of those songs. It's not as big as like Living on a Prayer or whatever, but it still has that kind of like similar 80s hair metal kind of energy. But I feel like the way that I made this one, I made it quick enough so that way, even if people might not be super crazy about the song, it's fast enough and energetic enough to hold everybody on the dance floor. But the people who really like that 80s stuff, they'll be super excited to hear it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, let me, let me let's, let's go back over to Rick Webb. We want to hear some more of those Ragoza sounds. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I could go all <laughs> okay, night. Okay. <laughs> but I want, to, I want okay. to go over to Rick. Let's see, Rick, if we can get your audio working. I fixed it. I had to just close out of it and bring it back. But... Okay. A lot of it's like I tried to cherry pick some stuff that has actually been working in the weddings that I've been doing re recently. Sure. So sure. I've done what four or five now and just like it's slammed every weekend right now. But a lot of dramatic intro edits is what I've been liking the bro mm -hmm. in there. Just coming out of 128, dropping in to like where it goes. Oh. Gets everybody singing on the dance floor. A lot of DJs use that edit to, to make the transition like you were just talking about to go from a different mm -hmm. tempo. I never thought of doing that until I saw other people doing that with that edit. <laughs> I'm the one who made the edit, but then I see people yeah. like you and Mick Spinelli using it to like transition from like 128 mm -hmm. and now I do it because of you guys. <laughs> but it's funny, you literally just named who I stole it from too. <laughs> Nick came in February and DJed my personal wedding and he dropped that stuff and like he was using the clap edits to drop out of 128 or the clap edits i use them a lot out of so so slow sanding and that clap edit just starts the backdrop their background i also have starships clap edit down there a lot of those clap intros are just really cool wanna, to be able to so awesome. rick we, we had a question from danny in the chat are you playing these at weddings mm -hmm. i just don't see 50 year old parents listening to that and oh fuck yeah all this is in my top played <laughs> wedding stuff right now all this yeah all now I, I know you said you had some other edits that are like some of the older stuff that you're playing that obviously mm -hmm. there's different sections of the night right there's like stuff that's yeah. not going to be as crazy at the beginning of the night and then you're going to get a little crazier as the night goes what, what mm -hmm. are you playing earlier in the night that is going to get every really single person the the it's all the we one. will rock you acapella. scooters sweet home alabama into ride with me Love dropping this. oh yeah that's dope i've also had some true country weddings where some of the older guys have came up to me and played play the original they're scared oh yeah mix. I've gotten that too. <laughs> That's few and far between nowadays. I've gotten um, that for one guy. See, I didn't really cherry pick too much that I played. Now, in the hold on a second. I see Circle of Life from the Lion King. What's that about? And we it's, will rock you. Number five down, six just a, down. We will. These are just like, I like to consider them like, get your hands in the air, random things to throw in and mix in between either genres or just to throw people off track. We will rock you in a hip hop set and you just drop it. You just drop that in, a, I believe it's 128 in the BPMs. 
I switched over to this so you guys can see it bigger. That's cool. I'm going to try that tomorrow <laughs> at my wedding. <laughs> and it's just, or sorry, 80. Yeah. So I throw that in when I'm in the hip hop stuff. So you come out of no hands into we will rock you. Mm-hmm. Throws people for a loop. What's crazy is those songs, even though they're completely different genres and completely different eras, the energy of those songs are very similar because both of those songs have that just very like in your face, just amped up kind of energy. They could both be considered jock jams. (laughs) Yeah. You can also throw that in like with all I do is win. Yep. Just dropping that after that because all I do is win keeps everybody. But then you throw we will rock you and the older crowd jumps back into it and then you just keep it going. Yeah, it's. Oh, another good song that's like a good Lego piece in that tempo range because there's not a lot of there's not really a lot of songs in that 75 to 80 range especially that's like open format I'll show you guys the I think it's on DMS but there, I made like a flat intro of Black Eyed Peas pump it louder and mm-hmm. that's always a really because it's got like a flat double time intro so if you're coming out of all I do is win you could bring that in there that's I, I use that as like a genre changer so I'll be in hip-hop I have all I do is win and then I'll mix in with the pump it louder by black eyed peas the acapella out just goes pump it louder so you could literally put that over anything it's not going to key clash it's going to sound hype that when that acapella out part comes, I can go into rock, I can go into like emo, I can go into a couple different directions. Be on the lookout for that edit. I think it's on DMS. I'm, I'm pretty sure I made it a while ago, but it's a good Lego piece. That's awesome. And then Rick, I see that you've got, you got some Kelly Clarkson, you got some DeVille. What are you playing from DeVille? The, so the my hotel favorite room one to drop is bottom. Hotel, hotel Room DeVille. <laughs> what is, what like, is this about? I've never heard this before. So I heard Jan I play this two years ago at a wedding. And I was like, dude, I need this. It's just the, I skipped through this all. So it just starts off. Of course, as that buildup's going, I'm like, you guys need to go crazy. This is the hype. The climax of the night is when I like to throw that song. Holy Jesus. And then drop out of that until get low. Oh, dude. Nice. Is it low or get low? There's two different ones. Let's say you're in the twerk section of the night. What are you playing? I see two chains. I see what what, what you got. What you got? Uh, in the dirty, bit, dirty ratchet. You gotta section drop of, some. I, got you, gotta, I'm different. you gotta drop. I'm different in there. Really? No, go DJ. I don't Not think I've much. ever played. I'm course. different at a wedding. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I don't you think I have. Some of the, <laughs> dude, you surprise some of the like the ladies in their fifties that get they've request. I've had really basically mills walk up to me. And they're like, "Yo, can you play? I'm different." I'm like. Two chains? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> Before we have Ragoza share some more songs and, and you, Rick, let's talk about taking risks. How do you guys look at taking risks at weddings? What, obviously, some DJs are going to look at that playlist and be like, yo, this, what about the old older folks, right? How do you think about that? And let's, how do you think about taking risks? Who are you really DJing for? And what's your thought process? And also, if you drop something and it doesn't work, what are you doing? <laughs> Love taking risks. That's, that's my mentality. I like taking risks. One of my favorite risk songs to play is I Don't Fuck With You. Really? If I'm, oh, fe- if I'm feeling the crowd is in that hip hop genre and they're digging it later in the night, of course, just drop it out of nowhere. Just drop it. Song. But always, always have a backup ready to go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So like Darren said, you, you're DJing for the bride or whoever is paying the bill, obviously. But I also think, secondly, I'm DJing for all those young girls out there that I want to hire me. Is that, do you guys think about that or no? <laughs> Should I be thinking like that or no? I look at it like this. Obviously, whoever's paying the bill, technically, that's who you're playing for on paper. However, I always take in consideration the overall vibe of the dance floor as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been times where brides have said to me, oh, I don't want this, I don't want that. But then when it comes time for the dance floor, the vibe is completely different than they expect. You know what I mean? A lot of people, they don't understand how sometimes the music they might like to listen to in the car doesn't translate to the dance floor. Sometimes you have to, and it goes hand in hand with taking a risk. Sometimes you have to take them by the hand as a professional DJ and lead them through the night and say, look, I got you. Like, I know you didn't want to hear maybe this Whitney Houston song or whatever, but now all, you, all your family members here, they want to hear it. But guess what? I can play it in a way that doesn't sound lame. I can play it in a way that sounds modern and fun, but still gives that familiarity. I always play for the dance floor first and foremost, because I feel like that's the best thing I could do for the people who are paying me. Because if the dance floor sucks, think about it. That's the last part of the wedding. And that's the part that's going to leave the biggest impression on people when they leave the wedding. If everything else is, is great before the, the dance time, cool. But but if the DJ drops the ball and can't get that dance floor packed, that wedding is not going to be remembered and it's not going to, it's going to end on a sour note. So at, what I want to do is make sure that no matter what 
the bride says they want or whatever. I want to make sure that I deliver the most epic vibe possible for that dance floor. So that's the way I look at it. Rick, do you want to expand on that? And then I'm going to ask you about getting married recently, Rick. Oh boy. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so one of the concepts I like to embrace at, in my sets as a DJ is what I talked about earlier, left curve or right curve, just out of nowhere, dropping in and out of different genres, back and forth, trying to keep a variety of the dance floor. And kind of like Rogoza said, talking with the couple and everything, a lot of that stuff talk is you got to be very thorough in your planning meetings leading up to the wedding, talking with them on. I just want you to cherry pick some of the best songs you want me to hear. But more or less, I want to hear the stuff you don't want to hear to some degree. But talking to them when they're picking out the songs that they like to hear in the car and stuff. Hey, I think these would work well during dinner. I'm going to play these during dinner because they're up. They're a little bit upbeat, but they're not danceable. So we'll play those during dinner so you get to hear them at your wedding. And then we'll move into some of the, and like we're going to say, let me work. Let me do my thing as the DJ to make your dance floor pack and make sure everybody has a fun time. And give me those 20 or so sprinkled in songs that you really want to hear throughout the night. So we, we have another yeah. special guest that I want to bring in here just because mad respect to oh, this God. guy, Brian B hey. in the house. Brian B. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up Big dude? brain Brian in the house. What up? Yes, sir. Up, so for, for those of you who don't know, Brian B, I think he does the most luxury weddings out of any DJ <laughs> that I know of. He's in with that, that, that luxury crowd and look at that hair. It's luxurious. Yeah. Okay. So can you expect anything less? So <laughs> Brian, what, what, I know you've been like listening here. Anything that you want? What, here's what I really want to know. You're in Italy. You're DJing this crazy epic via well, villa wedding. What is the first few songs that you're playing for something like this? Is it's a good question. It's definitely something in that realm of what you would hear in that country. I think hopefully it's something that's a take on an American song, but in that vein. So there's a little bit of familiarity. So it's not so obscure. You're just like, wait, what is he doing? I want it to be a little bit familiar. So I try to find some really good covers for that kind of stuff. And then... I don't go too deep though. Like most of the couples are not from Italy. That's, they want to taste, but they don't want the whole night to be like something that they don't know. So of it's course. like a fine line of dipping your toe in there when it's appropriate, but not overdoing it. You've got to feel it out. Sure. What is number one banger that you're excited yeah, to drop I was on people? I trying to think of that. Like right now I'm working on two projects that are like consuming my mind right now. So I, I like my brain is foggy, but that's all good. I've got a couple who like they grew up with hip hop and that's their thing. Like the Drake's, the classics, right? But they don't want, they want it. So they want to surprise their guests throughout the night with this and not be what you would typically hear at a party. They want it to be them. So my thought was, cocktails like thinking through like jazzy covers maybe some brass i've been like on the hunt for like, like turns on those things and it's been a fun journey to look for that stuff and i've, I've found a ton but like the boy it's it's like those gems like anybody can go find hidden beach like they're like the cover kings right now but like sure, sure. of instrumental stuff so it's like trying to go further down that rabbit hole of trying to find these things that like would surprise them when they hear this Drake thing. And I don't want it to be so obvious, but I want it to be obvious sure. if that makes sense. You okay. Know? Let's yeah. talk about hunting real quick. Obviously there's the pools, right? We got DMS direct music service.com. That's where Ragoza is home of Ragoza. Go sign up right now. Late night record pool. We got heavy hits. We've got all Club of them, killers. right? Club killers, et cetera, et cetera. Where, okay, let's say you're in the mood. You want to dig deep. Where are you guys going? Where are you hunting? Curious if there's any other sources that we should know about. You don't have to share any secrets if you don't want to. Go ahead, guys. Joining the Patreons <laughs> of the guys that you like. Patreons, sure. I think that's a good call. The, yeah. Join in the Patreons. Even Steve's, Nick Bike, some of these other guys, like, join their Patreons. They have, they're just given to you. Every month you get a new pack of edits and you're, you might find one or two in there. You're like, oh my God, this is so worth it. Right I was answer. gonna say Discord has been one of my go-tos, which what? is kind of weird. Yeah, Other there's DJs. a bunch of channels in there. I had a super fan of U2 and I know U2, I know their hits, but I don't know their deep cuts. And mm -hmm. I found this Discord channel that was like U2 super fans. And I was like, dude, I have a client who's a U2 super fan what do you guys recommend? And like the community was just like great hackers. Everybody was willing to share. No one was like, 
who is this creep? That's the first time I even posted in there. And these people were like sharing all their gold. And it was really just nice to be able to walk into the client and play a song that like only people like that would know because you're getting it from the source. You're getting it from super fans who are out there. Discord I'm finding to be like a really good win. That's like those, back in the day when they didn't have the record pool so accessible, you used to have to go to websites that were like these blogs and they'd be buried deep in these blogs. You'd find these links and they were like the white labels after record shops went away. Like they were the first like real pools. But if you didn't know where these sites were, you were like, Stuck. Are you guys hunting on SoundCloud at all? or Sometimes I'll find some cool stuff on there. It's far and few between. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I wish gotcha. SoundCloud Other was DJs. Like, yeah. Other DJs, sure. So, Rick, let's go back over to you. Sorry, Brian, If you, we'll come back over to you. But Rick just got married. So congratulations, first of all. Rick yes. Webb, owner of Both Lighting USA. Stop buying lighting from any other place. Just go to Both Lighting USA. It's the best stuff you'll ever buy. Rick, what <laughs> what was getting married like? What was the planning like? Did Nick Spinelli do a good job? That's basically what I want to know. What was the highlight Worst. song of the night? What did your what was going on with you? Was your wife excited? Same taste of music. Just tell take us through. Beyond like everything was amazing. Just the, the say the least. In the industry and also my wife Christine were and her parents also party centric people. Like her dad has a lot of different parties he throws throughout the year. He's a business owner as well for his company. So coming into it, the whole theme was around food, entertainment, guest experience. It was literally little to nothing to do with actually us. It was more about how do we craft an amazing experience for everybody once they walk in that door. And everything from adding extra lighting in the front room, different highlight centric pieces, the specific type of music that was playing when people walked in, like Santi DJed the whole entire cocktail hour. So we had DJ DJing the cocktail hour, making sure that he was playing the right, he threw in some like some ACDC and stuff, as we suggested, some of the older people would want to hear. And then just press around. Some of the highlights though of it, one, didn't realize how much actually goes into planning a wedding. So it was great to actually see. And as a guy, I was actually very heavily involved in it, which is un- not normally common. It's normally the girl only. Two, there ain't nothing in the world that can prepare you for that much anxiety and that much stress that walking down the aisle stuff like there there is nothing in the world that you can say to someone that prepares you for that moment like it's something special and then of course going through the party just epic nick rocked it out if anything nick literally when we were debriefing we were it was like three o'clock in the morning after we went to the after party heading back to the hotel and nick's in the uber with me and so santi and my wife and he's, if I did anything wrong, it's I went a little too hard because an hour 30 in and I saw like the slowest two steps in the world. And I'm like, no, nah, dude, that's exactly what you needed to do. Just go in ham, destroy it. How many Highlight hours songs. of dancing at your wedding? What's the two. sweet spot for you? Two, two hours. hours, two hours. But he went so hard that like hour and a half in, it was pretty much uh, people were tired. But he did his thing at that point. He slowed it down. We had a slow song and then he went to more like hip hop, less gotcha. jumping fist pump craziness and more just like hanging out, doing crazy stuff. That's awesome. Highlight songs of the nights for me would have been um, the Lion King edit, only because my boys literally lifted me up into the freaking air and I was terrified they were going to drop me. Like Simba, they lifted me up. But he went to okay. Just Want to Rock after that. And my brother, unbeknownst to me, did a complete breakdance 360 on the dance floor, like on his back and everything. I feel like yeah. that's what makes a highlight song of the night is like when someone does something absolutely crazy to it. I got to agree. Um, a couple weekends ago, I, I DJed a wedding and the bride was doing, she was doing the worm in her wedding dress. I've never seen that before in my life. I will always remember that. I know she was crazy. That's the type of bride that I like to work with, by the way. I say all the crazy ones come and work with me. Um, then wanna, um, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. David got the new one right now. I'm good. Da, 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. interesting. Cool. That's, that is my personal favorite song out right now. That's awesome. So That's I'm going to, I'm going to bring on, uh, this is uh, g- brace yourselves. This is the future of DJing Aaron trailer. I hope you're ready to freak people out. This is Aaron trailer <laughs> in <laughs> VR. Where, where are you? Where are you right now? Are you in the virtual uh, world? Or are you in the matrix? Pin both of me. Cause I have two accounts going <laughs> into zoom. This guy. Before we, I, I do want to share a few other songs from Rigozo and Rick, if you want, but I want to talk real quick about the future of weddings, the future of DJing. What, like, where do you guys see in the next few years or five years or even 10 years? What's happening with weddings? What should we brace ourselves for? 
Brian, I'd be curious to see the brides with mega budgets. What can they, what are they asking for? What are you seeing? What's interesting to you? Futuristic light. Obviously, Rick, you might want to talk about lighting other parts of the show. Wink, wink. The question is done. Let me unmute you, Brian. It's not going to be too surprising. I, I think customization has been on its way for a long time. I still feel like that. And I think it to what like, Ragoza was playing tonight. It's not the standard fare. I think it is like a little bit more not what you'd hear on the radio, which you're seeing that. And I don't know if anybody, I'm finding myself like getting a more and more music because people's tastes are so varied now. Like I thought I had it all. Mm -hmm. And I'm like every wedding, it's 30 more songs that I didn't keep in my library or were archived that I'm having to bring back out because people are able to access music so easily. So I think it's going to be the DJs are going to have to be more skilled in programming than ever before to feel like they really have the pulse of it. And that's a good thing because that raises the level for everybody. So I think that piece and then also this isn't new, but I feel like the music, the musical, the live music thing is big. It's almost like that's a given now where that's almost before it was just the big cities. Now you're seeing it everywhere. Even like in small little destination weddings, like people are wanting to bring that element in. And I think it's going to be more and more as we cross over from like parents who were grown up on bands to like the hybrid stuff for a while. And then I think at some point it'll be like festival DJ style down the road. But right now we're in that weird phase of phasing out all the band people, nothing against bands, but it's just moving towards where people grew up and how they grew up consuming music. Ragoza, Rick, the future of DJing. That's why Desiree and I were working so hard on the Team Ragoza thing because of that that hybrid thing being more popular now. Yeah, we're already uh, preparing for that future that Brian's talking about. Yeah, and for, for those of you guys that don't know, first of all, look up Team Ragoza after this Zoom, but it's basically world-class DJ meets world-class guitarist. His wife, Desiree, is, has traveled the world playing guitar with, you name the classic guitar legend, she's played with him, with them. Yeah, so what he's talking about is a hybrid act, right? Yes. Amazing. Yeah, definitely. And it's interesting to think because I started DJing in the early 2000s. I know a lot of people probably started before or after, but I know a lot of us did start around that time. And what's interesting is if you think about it in the 2000s, like the 2000s now are what the 80s were back in the 2000s, if that makes sense. But it's weird because so like the 2010s, that's like the 90s and the you know 2000s, that's like the 80s. But in the when it was the 2000s, looking back on the 90s, didn't it felt a lot more back in the day than the 2010s feel now, if you guys can pick up on what I'm saying. It's like time is moving by faster than ever. But I think it's something I always have to remind myself of. It's 10 years ago, maybe people who are like the 40 to 50 year old range might not want to hear 50 Cent or 2 Chains. But now we have to remember that that stuff is already 15, 10, 15 years old. So people who are in their 50s and 40s, they were in their late thir mid 30s, late 30s when that stuff was hot. So like they like we forget, at least myself, like sometimes I have to remind myself the music is getting older. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of the 2010 stuff like that's over 10 years old now. The stuff like from 2011, 2012, those are the new classics, if you will. So true. It's yeah. Crazy. crazy to think. Crazy. <laughs> And then you got like TikTok that brings all the old stuff back to throw a wrench into everything too. So it's yeah, it is so nutty. And the but other only thing that 30 is, second snippet. TikTok is bringing back some right. songs that were on a lot of do not playlists over the last couple of years, like ABBA, Gimme Gimme. That, that was on a lot yeah. of do not playlists. Now everybody wants to hear it because of TikTok. You know what I mean? And even certain line dances and all that, like line dances have been super lame for the last couple of years, but now I'm starting to get requests for certain ones again. So yeah, TikTok really throws a lot of wild cards at us, but I like it personally because I'm a big fan of, you guys know, I love to do mashups. I love blending different genres together. So I like what TikTok talk is doing because it's so like back in the day it was a little bit easier to dj for everybody because everybody was listening to the same stuff because everybody we didn't have streaming and all that back then so everybody was listening to the radio or watching mtv so everybody was consuming the same music for a while that wasn't the case because everybody's in their own world streaming or, or watching what they want to hear but tiktok is bringing that like radio feeling back into it because now a, a big mass of people are now excited about the same songs and i, and I like that because it makes it easier for us. And just the, the 90s vibe that's come back in, in dance music is insane. I love it. 
personally. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you think about it in the nineties, they were sampling the seventies. So it only makes sense that now in the 2020s, <laughs> we're true. going back and sampling the nineties. That's like the seventies yeah, in the nineties. <laughs> it's wild. I didn't even think about that. It's so true though. Yeah. So true. Aaron, what's happening? You're floating in space. You're a floating head in space. You bring up a really good question, and I'm being extra about this because you bring up my favorite topic, and that is what is the future of DJing? Do I have permission to share my screen? Of course. Do I, can I do that really quick? Okay. He's not already so, sharing a screen. DJs, you're thinking very 2D right now. Very 2D. Let's think 3D. And my mind was absolutely blown when I went down to the Vegas convention this year. The wedding events convention that happens every year down there. Sphere Matt. is the, the biggest I iconic I would say the eighth wonder of the world. Has anybody been to the sphere yet? Anybody? Not in it. W nobody? Sorry? Joe's been in it. So the sphere is next level. Before you walk inside and sit down and you get immersed in this globe of immersion, you hang out with these avatars, these sphere avatars, these robots. They kind of keep you company in the lobby before the show begins. And they tell you, hey, let's do a little experiment. If you want to hear drums... Stand over in this little quadrant. Stand in this little box. If you want to listen to just violin, stand in this box. And then there was these, man, I can't tell you. I don't know how to explain it, but there are these new 3D-like speakers, 3D orb-like speakers that you're standing in front of. And on one side, people are listening to the drums. On the other side of the dance floor, people are listening to violins. And it's all coming from the same damn speaker, but it's like silent. No, it's exactly like silent disco headphones that without headphones without head so this stuff turns me on so i'm all about metaverse i'm all about the vision pro i'm all about flexing whatever the next tech is and my friends if you have not subscribed to the future dj is all about that we curate the most incredible stories for ai for virtual dj updates for plugins for rotary to revolutionary digital TikTok trends, everything. If you have not subscribed to the, this is free, by the way, for anybody who doesn't even want to be a cray hacker tonight, I really encourage you all to become a future DJ just like us. I'm so hyped that you brought this up tonight. We love talking about we're not, this. We really do. So thanks for giving me the opportunity. I'm going to get out of the metaverse and I'll join you. IRL. Appreciate you, dude. Thing. So cool, yeah. man. <laughs> Listen, this is the age oh, of creativity. It. We can use AI to create whatever we want. Rick, yep. anything you wanted to shout out before we wrap it up? Or goes anything you want to shout out? Yeah, just be on the uh, stay stay in tune with the direct music service because, like we always say, you want to have a lot of different pools. Okay, obviously I'm part of direct music service, but even I use personally I use them all. You know what I mean? A lot of people say two to three. I agree. You should definitely have more than one. I personally I use every single pool. But I'm always making mixes. I'm always working on stuff. But when it comes to weddings, direct music service, we, we give you all edits. There's record pools that will they have the original tracks and all that. But I think direct music service is great for the mobile DJs because it takes out a lot of the work for you. Like that mashup I showed you, that you're going to have to do that one live. But on direct music service, there's a lot of those kind of mashups that are already done for you. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, not Beyonce because she's Sony and Sony doesn't want their stuff on record pools. So that, <laughs> <Don't play nicely. laughs> but that's the kind of stuff you'll get on, on direct music service, stuff that's tailored for private events and meant to give you that wow factor, but also that familiarity. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Agree so much with like literally that Full direct music is by far. That's the one I've been with the longest future of DJs. I can speak for on lighting. If you are not doing DMX controlled lighting in the coming years, if you are just slapping a gig bar up there, you will be quickly surpassed by other guys using tubes, using uplights, and having them the whole room sync to music. That's the next level. People want that. It's a full immersive experience. What Aaron was talking about, where you got to think in 3D. The music absolutely has to be the first priority. But when you couple the music with the top line lighting and using sound switch or whatever controls you got to DMX all of your lighting and making it all an immersive experience, it's just next level. Think about walking into Omnia nightclub and they even add, you got the big rings falling on you at Omnia, but like in a good nightclub setting, the lighting is just as important as the DJ. And you m may merge those two together. It is a, an experience that like people will remember for a lifetime. So guys, if you haven't checked it out already, uh, lighting USA cannot say enough good things about it. Oh, look at him. He's quick. Come on, baby.
you gave us your time. We appreciate it. I got to give all, all the shout outs. I absolutely freaking love these lights. They are, they will change your life and change the, your chiropractic bill because you don't have to be lugging around the freaking Kate. Let's, giant... let's point this out real quick, Dom, since you're on here, since yes, I just sir. mentioned DMX is so important on both lightingusa.com. We sell our sound switch profile that I use and all of our DJs under my company personally use that is already set up to work with every single light that's on the website. So the tubes, it's under the pre-programmed sound yeah, switch solution. But my right hand, Marcellus programmed this thing. There's pixel map tubes are built into it. All the movers are pre-programmed. Everything is set and ready to go. So all you got to do, get yourself a sound switch subscription, download our pre-programmed file, and you're up and running. And I think yesterday I just sold Joe Bunn on actually starting to use it for his events now too. So let's go. But it's already set and ready to roll. That, I mean, so you don't that, have to sit around and program for... I think Marcel has spent literally two weeks worth of eight hours a day straight programming worth into this thing. It's insane. And he constantly is updating it too. He's got like a whole community. There's like you can subscribe to the community and become part of contributing ideas and ways to create better programs. So cool. That's awesome. I do 15, 20 weddings a year. I'm an idiot when it comes to all of this, to be honest. So I have dumb lighting. So I love that you guys are offering that because I need to intelligence it up. I don't even know English at this point. Anyways. Guys, follow R DJ Ragoza at DJ Ragoza on Instagram, Rick Webb on YouTube, Instagram. Go check out both Lighting USA. Go check out Team Ragoza. Go check out Direct Music Service. Oh, by the way, join Crate Hackers because this is the type of stuff that we love to do. We love this community vibe. Even if you don't use the software, come for the community because every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, Aaron is doing awesome things with awesome people, talking music, which is what the DJs need. Rick, Ragoza, Joe, Radio, we love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Anything you want to say, Aaron? <laughs> He's muted. Number one, one's in the chat for Rick Webb. We never really have a chance to intersect often. Him and I are both hustling on different sides of the globe, and I salute you, sir. Seriously, thank you. I respect the grind when it comes to this lighting. You are a master when it comes to this. Really, if you're looking to up your game when it comes to lighting, I honestly do not know anybody better so you'll be hearing from me pretty shortly for wedding season rick and how's the youtube channel everything going good on that side what's the latest oh yeah on? putting some tutorials out lately on like different ways you can utilize different things i just like i've been playing with reels and i got a okay. few to blow up into a couple hundred thousand views and stuff but like showing people so let's just talk about this i'm going to be expanding a lot this year on youtube talking more about corporate audio because that's what my company is expanding heavily into so I've been schooling myself on with experts all across the nation that do corporate audio events and stuff, projectors, screens, LED video walls, all that's, we already have half that video walls coming this year. So I plan mm. to post a lot of content related to that. I just recently released stuff on how you can do wireless audio using a lapel system in reverse and you can do 300 feet, crystal clear, no dropouts, no issues like that. No, little to no delay. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube? Like, 2015 is when I started wow. hosting consistently every single week to two weeks. There was a, there's an evergreenness to your channel that I've noticed. I'll come across old videos oh, that yeah. are super served to me that you just follow them if you have I'm not speak so already. Ragoza, thank you, brother. How are you? So the wife? She's doing good. She's getting ready for her DJ battle. She's doing a DJ battle right oh. now. Because she's been getting more, we all know her for playing the guitar, but now she's putting her amazing musical abilities onto the turntable. So a great oh. learning experience for her. She joined a local DJ battle happening here in Virginia Beach, and she did the first round a couple weeks ago, slayed it. Absolutely. I'm so proud of her. And now she's working on her second set that she'll be doing next week. And it, she's definitely going to make it to the finals. It's fun yeah. to watch her grow. And you so can crazy. actually watch her quite literally not only evolve, but become a dangerous DJ Mondays and Wednesdays. Hey, there she is. Hello, Ms. Blue Hair. <laughs> I call her my DJ name for her. I call her DJ Sexy Blue. <laughs> sexy, sexy Blue. <laughs> I love it. That's oh, awesome. listen, girl. Hang out with Ragoza's Mondays and Wednesdays with the new dangerous DJs. And yeah, we hang out with them soon. Yeah, we appreciate you guys so much. Thank Speaking you. of Evolve DJs, if you guys want a, a DJ school where mobile DJs can go and feel welcome and learn more skills, we're actually, Ragoza has an entire DJ school that's called, it's currently called Evolve DJs. Yeah. We're actually going to be doing a, a full rebrand and we're actually going to rename the whole thing Dangerous DJs because it just communicates better yeah. what he teaches. He's going to turn you into a total 
gosh darn assassin <laughs> behind the decks. So yeah. you guys are going to be seeing that a lot more. But again, I want to thank our guests. Thank you guys so much. And for anybody who's not a Crate Hackers, a Crate Hackers member, here's what you're going to do next. You're going to go to CrateHackers.com slash checkout. You're going to go in here and you're going to choose either monthly or annual. You're going to get all those bonuses we talked about earlier. Uh, again, if you are a current Crate Hackers member, just email me, Dom at Crate Hacker, and we'll hook you up. As soon as you purchase the app, you're going to get login information. You need to watch this video every single second of this video because it's going to walk you through everything we covered tonight. You're going to download the desktop app, either Mac or Windows. And then you're going to scan and organize and play them bangers in 2024. One we appreciate more you thing. One yes, more thing. Sure. One more thing. Can I show you one more thing? Is it sure, okay? Sure. Of course. Okay. Listen, I, some of you might be on the fence. How many Serato users do we have in the house tonight? Can I show you something that's going to be the absolute banger for your wedding crates? Friends, hackers, check out the banger button. Sometimes you blank out. Sometimes you're pulled aside. Sometimes that bride or groom has got you distracted and the song's running out over on deck one. And suddenly you're like, okay, what do I do? How do, how do, what is the next song? You blank. Thankfully, we got this new thing called the banger button. <laughs> See that? Oh, wait, let me click on it one more time. It sits right here above your Serato. It is a separate wait. download from the Crate Hackers desktop app that most of you might be used to already. This comes free tonight. Everyone gets the banger button tonight, a separate free download. What does the banger button do? It sits above your Serato. And what we've learned is our developers said, there's a weakness to Serato. Serato is great. It's rock solid, no doubt, but it's recommendation engine kind of blows. Enter the banger button. You click the button and suddenly you're finding songs that are in a perfect compatible and harmonic ability. You can drag and drop. You can find all these songs that are in your collection or without, and you can do the research and find the tracks right there in real time. And look over on the deck side B, you've got its own set of parameters. All these songs compatible. This is just insane and flexible. There's so many ways that you can, some of my DJs are taking this and almost dang near replacing the menu altogether. And if you want to get away, rid of it, fine. The banger button is available right now. It is that one more thing I was really excited to share with you tonight. And another sign that we're constantly thinking, what is next? What can we do? How can we make this fun? How can we discover music faster? How can we hack? So if you're in it, drop a one in the chat, grab that link while you still can, cratehackers.com forward slash checkout. Many of these bonuses are gonna go away. I'm thinking at midnight tonight, we might just drop the hammer. Depends on how Dom feels, I suppose. Dom is the... Oh, the hammer's coming down. It's oh, over. is the hammer the coming down? Team. I don't the know, man, because no. sometimes you could be really generous. I don't know. <laughs> Not tonight. Not tonight. Action, people. Action. <laughs> that was so much fun. Hey, hey Dom. Uh, I can't out. think of much else to say other than thank you. Thank you, Dom. What else is next? That's it. That's it. Dom. Yes, sir. Radio, go. I... We have some people in the chat. That okay, are if you guys want to field questions, about... go go for no, it. No, no, it's that question. No, no, oh, no, yeah, no. what's up? God. We have some members. Well, we have some people in the chat yeah. interested in lifetime access. Can they message you for it? Message mm -hmm. me at dom at cratehacker.com. <laughs> they require a tattoo. Like this. <laughs> no, no tattoos required. Look at, that, look at that tattoo. Who's got a tattoo? <laughs> no tattoos required. No, that's a good question. Message, it's an email me. Dom with the subject line, you're spamming me with ads and he'll get you. He'll get you. <laughs> Turn the ads off. Guys, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thanks for coming to Extreme Crate Makeover. Thanks for coming to Pimp My Crates. We did two sessions in one, which I think but it was all kind felt, of cool. If it all felt like it fit together. Oh, yeah, exactly. making this Good job. Once tonight, again, Dom. yeah. Thanks for Rick Webb. Thanks to Rick Webb and Ragoza for all of your time. I told them, hey, I just need you on for 15 minutes and then clearly lied to them. So I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Cratehackers.com. Absolutely. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for your time. Peace.